next, how the art of making cider using unwanted apples is helping to restore community orchards across the capital. But with the project running out of funding, it's appealing to the public for help. Holly Goodall has the story. It's a technique that's been used for hundreds of years. Here in Walthamstow, volunteers are getting to grips with the ancient art of cider making. But these apples haven't come far from the tree. They've been gathered from orchards and gardens across London by and for the community. We give back cider um, in return for the food they bring us. Um, and it's about teaching people how to make drinks in a traditional way um, and also just celebrating the abundance of fruit that is actually on our, on our back doorsteps, really. Now in here is a thousand litres of fermented apple juice, which will be left to mature over the winter. And these are the finished products, cider and apple juice, which will be sold locally and all the proceeds go back to the orchards where it started. This orchard in Lewisham is one of dozens across the capital that's been restored through the project. Now it's used by local volunteers and school children to learn new skills and feel close to nature. And besides the trees, it's home to a whole host of species, not least the pollinators themselves. Unless we teach the, the, the next generation the importance of bees uh, and the fact that the bee population in the UK is declining, we might end up with having to have the children climbing trees and pollinating with little brushes. The project's been supported by the Heritage Lottery Fund for the last two years, but as that comes to an end, the Cider Hub is set to close its doors next year, unless it can raise the money elsewhere. We're not running it as a commercial enterprise. We don't want to cut costs. We want to really maximise that community impact. So it's all helping us to continue to help planting and restoring orchards in the city. The crowdfunding campaign will run until the 10th of December, it's hoped local communities will pull together to keep London's orchards growing for years to come. Holly Goodall, BBC London News.